Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this little letter here from my friend Darkest Raven Designs and she's actually sent me some Pokemon cards from McDonald's. Not only that, but she also sent me an unopened pack. So let's open this up and see what we get. The beginning of this video is a little bit different, but trust me, we will get into the art very soon. But yeah, Chantelle from Darkest Raven Designs, uh, she's actually a really good friend and she sent me these, so I'm gonna link her channel in the description. But let's see what cards we get. The first one is a cute score bunny. I love score bunny, as well as Tepig, so two fire starters here. Then we have Pikachu, the main man, and another Tepig. And this one looks like a holographic. So today I'm going to be painting on these cards here. I've done it in the past where I've painted over Pokemon cards or some people will call it a like a Pokemon card altar. And I just really want to do this again because it was so much fun. And with these cards being in the Happy Meals at McDonald's, I just really wanted to try it out again and see what we can do. So for the first one, I wanted to try it with gouache. I have my lovely set here of my Himi uh, jelly gouache, and I love these. I just find them super convenient to have it automatically set out like this, ready to paint with no preparation or anything like that. And I also have this lovely little uh, water container and some paintbrushes, obviously. So let's get into painting. So for the first one, I chose Piplup as you can see, and I love Piplup, I just find him super duper cute, and I had a really good idea for this one as well. I really love this one because it's got like ice floating in the water as if it's in like the North Pole or the South Pole, and I just found it really pretty how all of the colours are sort of like shining off that ice so as you can see it's not just like white or gray we've got bits of blue in there little bits of pink in there and later on i decided to add little bits of purple in there too just to add a little bit more colorfulness <laughs> so to begin i went in with a really dark sort of prussian blue color and i just blocked out the background as you can see here and now i'm just painting in some white sections for the beginnings of more of the icebergs that are sort of floating in the water. Now as you can see where the white paint is touching the dark blue paint, it is sort of reactivating the paint a little bit and uh, giving the white paint a little bit of a blue hue to it. And honestly, I don't mind that too much because it suits with the colors in the background and I actually use that to my advantage actually. To layer on a bit of white paint over just the lower edges of the icebergs and then it would look like they were submerged in the water. Now when you're working with gouache, especially if it's not acrylic gouache, um, you are actually going to uh, come across this problem because it's not waterproof when dry. It's basically like a thick opaque watercolor and uh, watercolor is reactivatable with uh, water obviously because that's the whole point of it. <laughs> but when you're layering paint over the top of each other, you end up like sort of like dissolving the layers underneath and then the colors mix a little bit. Which isn't too bad honestly, but I felt like I had to fight a little bit with that when adding in the layers of the color over the top of the white and um, like colors over the top of each other because they would just mix a little bit and it wasn't as like solid as I was hoping. But I kind of just went with it a little bit and decided to give it a little bit more of a painterly aesthetic. And then later on, I actually went in with uh, the paint in the the parts that were in the original illustration just to give them a little bit more of a painterly aesthetic too so it sort of matched and honestly I like this I think it's really cute now I decided that I did want to add a Pokemon in the lower portion as well because I just love Pokemon cards when they include lots of different Pokemon in the one thing I just think it looks really cute and I decided on a horsey because the colors would uh, suit the illustration quite well there's blues and a little bit of red and some white and I felt like he was just really cute just sitting there poking his head out from behind uh, the ice and just like staring at you. And I just think it's really cute the way I drew his little mouth and his little eyes and his little like tentacly, I don't know if they're tentacly, but like the, the pointy parts that are coming out of his face. But anyways, here's the final results for this first one and I think it looks so cute. So 
So for this next one, I decided I wanted to try out some acrylic paint. I honestly just wanted to see how it would compare with painting on a Pokemon card, uh, like compared to the gouache, and just see like the differences and stuff like that. So I decided to go and paint on this little school bunny, as you can see here. With this one, I just really like the background and I loved the clouds in the background and I kind of wanted to extend that and uh, accentuate it a little bit so that there was like a lot more clouds in the background and have him like jumping through the air. So to begin, I first added a layer of a blue that matched close enough to the background and obviously it wasn't perfect because uh, the background had a little bit of a gradient on it. So I added a little bit of a darker blue and sort of mixed that into the paint a little bit and tried to add just some variations in color as you can see here and I'm I'm not too stressed about uh, the you know the the detail at the moment because most of this is going to be covered up uh, with a fair bit of clouds because I really wanted to sort of enhance those clouds a little bit and uh, you know exaggerate them and make it look like a really cool looking like cloudy sky and so I went in with the white while the paint was still wet and I just dabbed in a lot of uh, clouds all over that sky and I sort, I sort of tried to like keep them in their own little clusters but have it blend out a fair bit. And as you can see it's looking pretty good and fluffy and cloudy and I decided to add another Pokemon. I thought that it would be really funny if um, this, this score bunny was like jumping and like leapt through the sky and like jumped so high that he jumped over the top of a bird Pokemon. I just felt like that would be a really cool, like cute idea. And here is the bird Pokemon and I have decided on Fletchling because it is another fire type, just like Score Bunny. And they have a very similar color palette as well. So I felt like they would work really nice together and they would both stand, uh, stand out nicely on that blue sky. So the acrylic paint worked pretty well on these, I have to say. I didn't have that issue of it uh, sort of blending in with the layers underneath, obviously, because acrylic paint is basically sealed when it's dry. But there's definitely a lot more texture in this one with the paint strokes, and that's mainly because the acrylic paint that I use is a structure paint. So it's going to dry with a bit of texture because it is made for texture and I really like that about it but I kind of wish it was a little bit more I don't know a little bit more solid and flat because I felt like that would look really cool with uh, the style of the school bunny here but that's okay honestly I don't mind it and I decided to go in and add in some like flames or embers flying through the sky so that like maybe the school bunny made some like embers as it was like jumping through the sky and then this Fletchling, which is also a fire type Pokemon, added some more fire, you know, like maybe it got startled. So it, it did like a, like an attack. And then there's just like fire, like floating through the sky in this still shot of this school bunny jumping over a bird Pokemon. I honestly thought it was a cool idea and I really liked the results as well. And I think it turned out pretty cute. So here's the results for both of them and honestly I really like them. I think that they are cute and definitely not perfect but I made them and I hope you guys like it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making them and uh, comment below which one of these are your favorite. And if you have done a Pokemon card altar uh, yourself. Hope you're having a lovely day. Please stay safe out there and I shall see you in my next video. Bye everyone.